This this like feels amazing to be a part of. It's 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 a bigger picture than than what you see here, right? Like I mean, yeah, you see us having fun with the kids and camp and stuff like that, but at the same time, it's also being a part of their lives, you know. And for me personally, to be part of this, it feels amazing. It feels like totally worth it, you know. Totally worth the sore muscles, the sweat, and all that. So we're at the Paul Band School. Our whole entire thing happens kind of in the gym and outside of the gym. <clears throat> it's a time for the kids. We're here for the kids to have a great time, to feed them well, to know that they're loved. We had, we had 19 kids show up, and then by Tuesday or Wednesday, we had something like 50 kids show up. They come in first thing in the morning, we give them some breakfast, and then we do the activities with them. And then after that, we do lunch. I have seen the need in the Aboriginal people populations here in Canada. So this is a great opportunity for us to start to make relationships with the parents and the kids in a completely non-threatening, I'm here to serve you kind of way. All the, all the food that, that we do serve for breakfast and for lunch have been uh, very generously donated by people at GCC. And, uh, either through actual food donations or with money, with the money that they gave us, we, we've been able to purchase food for, for the kids and stuff like that. So we had one big massive meeting and we sat down and really went over everything, our plan, and um, after that meeting there was actually a few more meetings. It's so rewarding, it's so worth it, but like us getting all of the supplies and going shopping and making sure everybody's on the right page, that all the volunteers are coming on the right days so we have enough people. People have taken time off of work, which is just, like that in itself is an act of love. So I know these kids are in an environment where there is love. Like once this camp is done, we're hoping to start the, the bus ministry part of this. And so Sunday we're gonna come to Paul Band, pick up a group of kids on the, on the school bus, bring them back to GCC, have their own service and stuff like that. Each kid is gonna go home with, with some bag lunches for the week. Give your time, give, give whatever you can give, you know, your prayers, you know, to really keep it going and, and be, be an answer to, to these kids. So.
and that, um, yeah, that they're just fun to be around and that we want to be a part of the fun that they're having. No, I think the first day we had um, a total of 19 kids show up. Um, and then by Tuesday or Wednesday, <laughs> yeah. On Tuesday. And um, I mean, the, the numbers kind of fluctuate up and down and stuff like that. But I mean, we're, we're in and around 30 today, so it's pretty, it's pretty sweet, so. Very cool. Yeah. You know, they'll come up to you and just give you a big hug or whatever. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool compared to the first day where they're just kind of like, who are these people, right? So. Um, like, it's not over after the camp is over, right? It's just the beginning, right? And so... Um And uh, I mean, I definitely encourage everyone to be a part of this and, uh, and just really reach out to, to, to kids in need in our community. Right on. 10 seconds of not you talking. Okay. Capitals background noise. Okay. Sounds good.
Are you filming the video? Nope. I know it looks like that. This camera's not even in the shot. Sweet. That's so weird. Gophers everywhere, it's so cute. Hi! Hi girls! Oh, you're sneaky! Wow! Okay. So Amy, um, let's pretend like I'm somebody that doesn't know what's happening. Uh, can you tell us what we're doing here today and this week? What's location that we're at, what we're doing? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <coughs> hey, you two hooligans in the background, you look kind of weird in my shot. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, keep going. woo! You're pretty good at that belly dancing. <laughs> good, you're, the, you're good there. <coughs> Excellent. Redo? Should I redo? Good, it'll be Ka fine. I have Ka another, which is one of the left shots. Uh, I noticed that when we filmed the school one, there was a time where Danielle and Pastor Carmen were standing out on the sidewalk talking, and then it looked really weird. <laughs> <laughs> for it now. Awesome, so that's really good. Um, so we're here at the camp, we're with the kids uh, for the whole entire week. Um, on more of a personal level, why are you here? Like, why are you wanting to be a part of this and, and get involved? I um, have... be at this reserve. There's a need here at this reserve. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, what's been your favorite activity to do with the kids so far? Dodgeball. Man, that dodgeball so good. Those little kids, and there's some that you don't expect like anything from. So you're standing on the line, they've got the ball, you're not worried about them, and then you get pegged. Like at 60 miles per hour. The kids are amazing. They love it. It's really fun. Everybody's engaged. I like all of the games that we've played where the 12 year olds and the six year olds are having a good time and everybody's so involved that they could play it forever. Right now, I think that's dodgeball. The kids love dodgeball, yeah. Awesome, yeah. very cool. Um, what are some of the other activities that, we, that you guys have been doing with the kids or <clears throat> have yet to do? So we started the day with some fun songs and that went not as well as I thought it would. They loved it. They just laughed at me the whole time in my silly actions. So we kind of scrapped some of the songs. We're really flexible and we've been doing like um, two sports in the morning. So floor hockey is like a massive hit. The kids love floor hockey and they're like pros. They're all way better than me. They're awesome. They're so good. And then we did basketball. So we had like a fun little skills camp thing on the pavement um, with the basketball nets. And we've done dodgeball. We've done Chinese baseball. We've done, oh, a lot. We've done, you name it, we've done it. And we've um, also done a couple crafts. This is our second day for doing a craft actually. So we've done a craft with them. Hey guys, good to see you. Do you want to wave to the people and say, day camp is awesome? No. No, no. too shy. Yeah, so what else have we done? What have we done this week? We've had a lot of fun. We had scooters. 
Scooters! Yeah, our scooters. That, I'm not supposed to look at the camera. I'm sorry, guys. Matt, our scooters have been a hit. Like any time that we've been able to just have like one-on-one -on -one with a bunch of kids doing what they want, it's been awesome. So that's been, we've done noodle tag, we've done noodle javelin, we've done minute to win it. So minute to win it are like these 60 second challenges where they have 60 seconds and their team puts forth one person or we rotate throughout the whole team and they have to try to get something done in 60 seconds. And so we've done a lot of really fun things. <laughs> a lot of fun things, so much. Let's go get air so much good stuff. Awesome. <laughs> Don't jail, he's working. That's not helpful. <laughs> awesome, so what's the, why would you say, um, like the church or Global Care, I guess is the organization that we're, why, why are they out here? Like, what's the whole purpose of uh, everyone coming out here? Um, should I just say because we didn't have the help for this sports camp? No, and I then, like, mean, like, like, because, uh, like, the full reason, like, getting involved <coughs> with the youth and everything, like, I had your kind of personal reason, and now I just want to, like, the organization. To be okay. Against. So, Global Care has been awesome, and we've come to this um, school to serve and to love on these kids, and the reason why is because, like I said, there is a huge need, and Global Care has seen that need, and um, our influence with these kids is powerful. It's so powerful. Like I can see how the boys already have like taken to all of the men here, like Pastor Steven, Carlos and Matt, like they're all just like, this is awesome. These are guys that are giving us attention, whereas maybe they don't have that. Um, and I just, the relationships that we're building with the kids are also extending outside to the parents. And because of that, these people are opening their doors out to the church really because we're the church body and them opening up to the church um, really just allows for the Holy Spirit to continue to work in their lives and it won't just be anymore that global care is serving here and we're the church coming here I believe that there's kids here and there are parents here that will be a part of the church I know that so that's the reason like that's why we're here awesome. yeah um, what kind of, um, I guess you might know a few of the stats a little more just on, on about the reserves and stuff and a little bit about like even like the suicide rates or the, some of the things. Yeah, so I keep talking about this huge need and the reason why we actually are here doing this sports program is when I was subbing, the principal came to me and she said, you know, Alberta Health is putting pressure on the school to put something. <laughs> Hi ladies. Do you want to wave to the camera? You can wave. Can you wave? No, I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to? Why are you jumping in front of it then? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> girls, can you say goodbye to everybody? Just wave to them. See you. All right, give us one moment, okay? We're going to have a chat here. He's filming me, and this is going out to people. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Go okay, give us some time. <laughs> I want you girls to play over there for now, okay? And then I'll come over and play with you. You want to go on the swings? Ask Miss Debbie. She'll make sure you get to go on the swings. Okay? She's there. There she is. Go get her. Um, the reason why I've been talking about the need here is because there is a huge need. So I was looking at the camera. I'm sorry. Um, the reason, I'll just say the whole thing over again. Sure, yeah, the reason why I've been saying that there's like such a need here is because that need is really real. When I was subbing at the school here, the principal approached me and she said, you know, would you be interested in helping with a day camp a couple of times this summer? And I said, sure. She said, we really, really need it. She said, Alberta Health has been putting pressure on the school for it. And the reason for that is the suicide rate here is absolutely outrageous um, there was something like I oh, was it 11 suicide it was really bad in a month there was like 11 suicides and there was over 20 attempts that were unsuccessful it was like an epidemic so there's a lot of need here there's a lot of hopelessness obviously and it's important because we know who gives hope 
we know who that is and Jesus is real and he's alive and um, we can't hide that we can't hide that truth and that joy we need to share it with the world and these guys are our neighbors so it's such an awesome opportunity God is so good so good Are you just running like the activities for the kids here or are we also feeding them lunch and all that good stuff? Yeah, so um, Global Care, our church is so awesome. Not only are we doing like sports activities and cooperative games and crafts and other games. Um, when the kids come here, they get a banana and a granola, granola bar just in case they haven't had breakfast. If they have and they want more, we have that to offer them. And um, we've also given actually some of the parents some food that way. And then we have a really awesome lunch that we've been providing for all of the kids. One day we had 43 kids and we like were awesome with providing them food. We have an abundance here so we're able to give so much which is awesome. Um, the people that have supported us that way, that's incredible like we wouldn't be able to do this camp without all of the support that we've had for um, whether it was a donation financially or if it was an actual physical item so that was so awesome for those people I feel like really in order to like receive from their donations they need to be here because this is just an amazing place and you just it's such an honor to be serving these people. So we've done lunch and then we send home all of the kids a really awesome goodie bag where they have like popcorn and a little bag of candy. Not a little bag actually, it's a pretty big bag of candy. So we rock, we're doing a good job and the kids love it. Awesome, you yeah. my two of my questions. <laughs> the people donating it and stuff, that's really good. Yeah. Um, <coughs> obviously uh, a camp just doesn't just happen, there's gotta be some planning uh, like that's involved with this too and I did come along and film uh, one of your guys' meetings and stuff like that and can you just tell me just about the preparations that like, have gone into this the what you guys how many meetings you'd have a week <laughs> um, how it all went together talking communicating with each other what kind of work went into <laughs> yeah. Seen it. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so what I understand is like even after the day camp, there's still going to be more going on afterwards. Yeah. Like with the, the bus coming in, picking up the the kids and stuff, and bringing them to church on Sundays and giving them a yeah. lunch. Yeah. Um, can you just tell me tell a me little bit about that? that? Yeah. Tell me what's going to happen, and that people can still get involved if they want to, and it's it's not over. I guess the camp's not done. No, it's not. Four words. God is in control. This is like the perfect timing for us to have this camp so everybody's getting a chance to get to know the kids and to know the families and then right after that actually today even because today's Thursday um, we're having a youth event at Wabaman it starts at 6 pickups at 6 and we're actually providing transportation here at the school and we're bringing all of the kids the youth to Wabaman and they get a chance to meet our youth from the church and friends of our youth and so it's really building community and relationships that way in a real setting like you know let's hang out at the beach have a good time and then on Sundays We've also advertised, and I know that there's already people that are going to be coming, um, a service uh, in between services, so in the day where we have people come and we put a service on for them. And um, I believe we're even providing some food. Is that correct? Yeah. So God is good. Our church family is amazing. We're so generous. And that's something that's not just going to stop because this is kind of a great opportunity to make um, relationships with people and I see that that's happening and that they're really really responding with open hearts and gratitude and joy and gratefulness um, so many people have already said yeah like Sundays I want to go to church and so um, that's happening this Sunday and then we're going to be continuing that and so this isn't something that you know 
starts and stops. So there's tons of opportunity for other people to get involved. And if some people thought, you know, I wish I could have, but I had to work, you know, that's okay. That's a reality, but there's so many more times and yeah, opportunities in the future for everybody to get involved. It's good. It's good. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit of the, how the kids have been receiving, um, just the people, the workers that have been here, like, They're let's so compare happy. the first day with the, with the fourth day. We're on the fourth day today. How were their interactions with people on the first day and now that we're almost <clears throat> at the end of the camp? How has there been a change? Has it been yeah. So at the first day, everybody was super happy to see us. All the kids were really excited. There was a lot of joy and there's still a lot of joy. There was so many things happening and um, we weren't able to connect with them to the same level that we are today because of the relationship that's been built. Over the time though, because there's a little bit more comfort and there's more vulnerability, we've seen some of the dysfunction coming from the need and we've been in a place to meet that and just show them love in that time. So the first day everybody was crazy and so excited. The second day everybody was crazy and so excited. The third day everybody was crazy and so excited this fourth day everybody is crazy and so excited the kids are having seriously such a good time like I'm like I want to see this in my classroom every day that I teach because their smiles are just like gifts to the universe but um, I'm seeing too that because they've known us now they're opening up about some of their problems or how they feel about other kids and stuff which is a really great opportunity to love them and care for them so it's good awesome awesome mm -hmm. very cool um, Kids, um, I guess just um, have you heard? Have you? I know probably with the registration table have interacted with parents a lot more, but have you heard anything from parents or seen anything um, on that side of things um, with us bringing their kids? Yeah. So one of the parents was so into what we were doing and she just loved it so much. Her son Alex yesterday had a birthday, and she felt that. Um, she wanted to give back to what we were doing and celebrate her son at the same time. So she brought a cake and she was just so grateful for, for what we were doing. She said over and over, you guys, this is awesome. Thank you so much. And she just had so much joy that we were investing so much time and energy into the kids here. So that was really good. And I've heard from other um, workers here that are on the front lines with the parents that there's so much gratitude. Um, I know the first day, I think we started getting people most people came a lot later than the 10 o'clock start, like a lot later. And the second day we had people come early, like we had people come at like 940. And so even, even seeing that, you know that the parents are really for what we're doing and really grateful. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like because God has opened the doors for Global Care to work on this reserve and there isn't anybody, any other church um, that I'm aware of as far as talking to the principal and even I got to talk to the chief at the powwow, um, we're kind of the only ones and God has said yes to that and there is such a need. Um, I feel like prayer is really important because there will be far more opportunities. This is not the end. God's really just doing a work and we're just going to have more open doors. So I think prayer is super important. Celebration, a lot of thanks to God, a lot of praise to God. Hope and just standing on the truth that what He says for us and how we've seen God work in our lives is the same for how He's going to work in these people's lives. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, that actually reminds me, there was a, a couple more things. Um, just with the, uh, just getting our in on the reserve, like getting to come through here. Can you tell us a little bit about the process and what needed to happen? Yeah. The door up so I was substituting, as I said, and I was approached to be a helper of this. And I said yes to it. And then I presented um, kind of a skeleton schedule for the camp because they said that that would be something I would put forth to help. It was based off of a VBS, but I took out all the Christian stuff and went to uh, the principal. And <clears throat> she kind of backed off a little bit about the program and she said, you know, like I don't really work during the summers and um, this is kind of your baby, Amy. This is your baby. So get it all in writing and a little miscommunication because I thought I was helping, but God was just like, no, you know, take this opportunity because, because it became and it worked out that way, we were able to go to the church and say, hey, 
like we have free reign. We really did. We had free reign to do whatever it was that we wanted to do. And um, that's totally God. God turned something that I thought was a little bit scary. What? No, this is something I have to do alone to something that's so awesome because I haven't done it alone. I haven't. There are people here working equally as hard and it's so good to have the support. And um, so that that was awesome. We also were supposed to go to the chief and band council about it to get their approval. And just because of um, schedules being too busy and nothing working out, in the end, uh, the principal just said, just book the gym. You can just have the gym. And so um, we've really just had an open door to do whatever ever it is that God wants to do in this time. You know, we don't have anybody overseeing it and saying, no, that's not okay. You can't have, we're handing out awesome Jesus stickers with like Bible verses all over them. And I'm not even really handing them out. I just put them there for the kids and they're peeling them off and sticking them all over their posters and on their arms. And I'm like, awesome, that's so good. So, and I also, um, we're making relationships with a lot of the workers. So Everett, he's an awesome guy. He's the janitor here. Um, he's here every single morning asking how, how our day is. He said he prayed for us to have no rain. He keeps reminding me, I'm praying. I'm praying for good weather, Amy. And so um, God's really opened the door for us to be a part of the reserve, not just the kids' lives from Monday to Friday because of this camp, but just to be a part of everybody's life here in some small way, but God's going to open the doors, like I said, so I'm excited. Uh, uh, awesome, very cool. Mm -hmm. And one last thing, because uh, I think uh, McDonald's has been kind of a big sponsor in, in a sense of what they're doing and yeah. uh, in their commission and probably get some more if they get yeah. recognized. So can you just tell me a little bit about, uh, I don't know, I'm going to ask Brenda again too, she's in the interview, I know she was there, but I was get it from a few different people. So ridiculous, so awesome, McDonald's, the Golden Arches. Seriously, that place is amazing. Um, I guess Brenda had wrote a letter and I know Hillary talked to, to them too. So McDonald's was already kind of prepared to give us something for the camp. And uh, Brenda kind of went there to pick up some stuff. And then there was this lady in the parking lot randomly approached Brenda and Brenda just thought, oh, this lady wants to know what I'm doing with all this stuff. So she started telling her about the camp and what we're doing on Paul Band Reserve. And this lady happens to be like the regional manager, head honcho, pretty much like the queen of McDonald's for Alberta. And she said, hey, listen, like, I want to be a part of this. This isn't enough, like, you know? And she handed out to Brenda a hundred um, gift cards or gift coupons, hundred coupons for burgers, hundred coupons for fries, hundred burgers, hundred coupons for Sundays. And she's also provided for us the juice and the jugs and all of the cups like two times a day she's just she's been amazing get this woman's name and just like pray a blessing over her mcdonald's has been amazing for us and not only that um the cute little like feed store off of main street in stony plain provided us with bird seed for the crafts for free and safeway contributed a little bit stony plain safeway for the food superstore in spruce grove contributed a bit so um people see that there's a need and God is good. He's softening people's hearts to really just like be generous, ridiculously generous. I've gone to McDonald's a couple times just like in giving back this week. <laughs> I know. I'm stressed and I'm like, I want a burger. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I think that covers everything. Okay. So the final thing is just going to be quiet for like 10 seconds. <laughs> yo, 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 represent. <laughs> this, this is probably the worst interview ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My eyes are like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. Um, awesome. And uh, in terms of any other supplies that have been donated, um, those have also come from people at the church and the community. 
Yeah, all the supplies that we are using here today are... It's <laughs> gone <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I know all the all the supplies and food that we are using this whole week have been uh, provided to us uh, through the like generous donations of people at GCC and their their generous giving and so I mean a lot of, all of this has been made possible through through donations basically. So awesome. it's been really good. It's been really good. Cool. So obviously this looks like a lot of work to put on like a whole week and stuff. There'll be some crap that went into it, even getting onto the roof. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, there was a member of our church that uh, came and met with the the chief and and members of of the of the band here. And, um, we got the okay, and so from that point we started uh, meeting and planning, and there's a lot of planning going into this. And uh, I mean, you could tell it's worth it. It's working. Um, all the planning is paid off and stuff like that. So. Awesome. So yeah. what kind of things did you guys do to plan? Like weekly meetings? Yeah, yeah. Like, they'll be all about that whole process. So. Yeah, it was, it was definitely um, kind of started off with certain people wanting to be on the committee, feeling that call to be part of this. And so after we all got together and um, had basically weekly meetings up until this point. Um, meeting every week, every Sunday after church and stuff like that, just going over what we needed, how we're gonna do, uh, you know, just all the little details that you need to, to do in order to, to pull something like this off. So yeah, that was a lot of work, but like I said, it's definitely worth it, so. Awesome. Yeah. Um, see, this is like the fourth day of the, the camp, right? Yeah. Stay and it's kind of getting your feet wet, yeah, yeah. in there and interacting with the kids. Have you noticed any difference in the way the kids behave towards the leaders the people here from the first day to the uh, fourth day? Yeah, absolutely. The, the first day, a lot of the kids were cold, kind of standoffish, you know, kind of just hanging in their own little group and stuff like that. But uh, basically, being silly and stuff like that, uh, they were able to laugh, open up. And so, yeah, today is the fourth day of the camp. and. I mean, a lot of the kids are now interacting with, with the group and interacting with each other a lot better and stuff like that. And yeah. yeah so. um, on the first day there, we were a little bit nervous because 10 o'clock rolled around. And there wasn't many kids at 10 o'clock, yeah. Tell us a little yeah. about that, how the kids, like, on the first day, the number Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's been more registration people. I've been in charge of sports and stuff like that. So first two days I couldn't walk. <laughs> I'm too fat and old to run this much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, the the first first two days I was I was pretty sore, so <laughs> they had me running around pretty good. So but I, I was having a blast, so yeah. Um, do you know any of the kind of stats on like the Palmetto Reserve and some of the suicide rates and stuff? Like no, I, I don't know. I, I know, it, like, I mean, there's there's a lot of suicide, but as for numbers, I don't know. I think PC would know. So. Excellent. Um, I think it covers it. Is there anything else that you want to say that we didn't cover or talk about? Or? Mm.
last yeah. couple of days and kind of bring the, the bus out. Yeah. Um, I know we're not totally in, in on that yet, but can you just tell me a little bit of, of how that's going to work? And I guess it's more to encourage somebody because the, the camp will be over by the time they watch this video. Yeah. There's still going to be opportunities for them to get involved either right. with their time or right. fiscally or anything. Right. Can you just tell us a little bit about what the plan is for them? Yeah. Okay. Anybody. Um, I guess let's just go over okay. how good it feels to be a part of this right. and give into it and right. kind of finish it off with you can give to it. Yeah. Or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Just try it out. Okay. Cool. Let's try that out. <laughs> so, question, what does it feel like to be a part of this? Like, what yeah. does it feel to be this, involved in this kid's lives uh, in any way? How's that? Yeah. Happen? 